Okay, once you have your golden ratio guide set up, um, this is my purple line that I inserted, purple line, and then this was my green line, which was my second division of the golden ratio. So once you have those, you can insert your text boxes. Hit the type tool, and say I want my text box to go all the way across here. Do not go outside of the margins. Um, I'm going to make sure it goes all the way to that ratio there. And then I'm going to right click inside the text box. Then you go to text frame options. Number of columns. Do you want one column, two column, three column? I'm going to do three. And then I usually align it to the top. That way any text that overflows goes straight to the top. Um, we don't want to do any indent spacing. We can change that with the, um, the character style. So hit OK. See, it puts nice columns of text already there for you. So if that's your text, if that's how you want your text to look, then that's how you insert your text frames. Um, if you wanted to do one on the next page that you would link it, all you do is make another text box. Say my text box is, is only going to go right here um, and my photos are going to go up here. I'm going to right click on this, text frame options, make sure if I have three columns over there, it's best to do three columns on the other side. So I'll just do three and then it works that automatically, um, the gutters, which are the space in between the type, then hit OK. Okay, now to link these so that when I put my text in, it goes from here to the next, to my second text box. I click over here. See this little square? You're going to click on it, and then you're going to drag it over to this text box. Once you see the link, click it, and then it has linked the, the text boxes. You need to have that or else you're going to have to insert your text, and it's just going to be harder to do. Okay, so now we're done setting up my text boxes for my spread.